And tonight, Governor Newsom responding to the shooting, saying, quote, another senseless act of gun violence in America, this time in our backyard, in a church with kids inside. Absolutely devastating. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and their communities. We are working closely with local law enforcement. We continue our team coverage with CBS 13's Valina Jones at the scene with what witnesses told her. Valina? Yeah, still a large police presence here tonight. And I spoke to witnesses who live just down the block from where this church is located. Now a neighbor who lives nearby, he's still shaken tonight knowing that this was a fatal shooting that took the life of three kids. My dad's messed up. Uh, praying for the other family members and maybe whoever lives over there. And God rest their souls, you know what I mean? Now tonight we're learning more details about what happened inside the church before those shots were fired. A witness who's talking exclusively to CBS 13 tonight tells me she was sitting outside of the church and called police after a man ran outside of the church and frantically approached her. According to that man, the father we now know as the shooter was at the church for a supervised visit with his three children when the shooting started. The witness who we spoke to by phone did not want to be identified. Take a listen to what she had to say we heard the uh gunshots and then two minutes after that the man came running so that's when he's running up to the car saying call the police call the police they're in the church shooting there's a guy and um his three daughters and um he's visiting with his three daughters and the pastor or somebody in the church shooting he was in complete shock he he was like gasping for air um, he leaned up against my car a few times just trying to, to, to balance himself. He was shaking. I'm lost for words, honestly, beyond being devastated. The sheriff's office is not identifying the individuals involved, but the witness says that man claimed he was the only other person inside the church during the time that the father was there for visitation, aside from the pastor. Such a tragic night. All right, Felina, thanks. And we are working to find out the name of the father and whether he had a criminal record. But a new law just took effect in California that requires a judge to consider a parent's history of drugs or violence when granting visitation. Previously, those factors had only been considered when making decisions on a child's custody. According to its website, the church in Sacramento is a Christian church. They meet every Sunday at 10. They advertised a children's Bible camp on their website and they were set to hold a business meeting next week.